This could be it, babe. That big break. I'm scared. Why? Just promise me we'll never change. Hi, it, it's babe. your girl Niola, aka that Miss break. Nini, aka Miss First Lady. You're welcome to my world and artist zone. My real name is Eniola Akimbo. I am from Ocean State. I'm from Elisha in Ocean State. And um, I studied journalism and English language in the University of Lagos and the Independent Journalism Center, Lagos. My first experience on stage was at um, the Amen Starlet competition. It was very huge because there used to be Amen Awards at the time and the Starlet competition was just a segment of part of the awards basically. And I, I was competing against people like Bigiano, like MC Fire, a lot of people. There were judges like um, Paul played Dyer, there were, it was a huge event. And <laughs> I was nervous, but because it's, it's my passion, it's what I love to do, I just went ahead and did, you know, what came to me naturally, and I was okay. And I was first runner up <laughs> after everything. My first single ever, I think that was in 2005. It was, um, I did it with Freestyle, he used to be one of the tribesmen, he produced it and it was called Me and You in the Club. And thinking about it now it makes me laugh but it was also well accepted at the time. I've told the story like 50 million times but just for you I'll tell it again. I, was, I always knew Banky W from when he first moved back to Nigeria when he did the first edition of the Ovation Red Carol we had met before and um, after that I took like a short break from music and it was about three years and when I decided to make my comeback I did a song called Unpredictable where I featured skills who was already on EME at the time and one of the days when I went to the house where their studio was I saw Banky again and we started talking he was asking me what had been going on with me and it was at the time that the I think it was Delsu or Absu the rape incident had happened and we started talking about it and he said I think that somebody especially females should do something like a song that addresses the issues that women face in our society like the rape issue and a lot of other stuff that women face and he said, in fact, we should work on a song that addresses these issues. And we started working on the song. The song is called I Believe in Me, by the way, and it's going to drop next year. It's a very, very amazing, powerful song. And it was while we were working on the project that I think he conceived of the thoughts to sign me and to hear me. And that's how the story started. That's the story so far, Sha. <laughs> Even if I were a guy, I would have the challenges that I would face. And so the challenges that are in the industry, I don't see as challenges for women. I just see them as challenges that you have to face to forge ahead in life. But I love you. It's still your girl, Niola, and you're still in my world on Artist Zone. Keep watching. I'll be right back. Oh my God! They call me BJ Adams, Swag, ladies call me Prince Charming, they call me Kwashirana Kenya, Kenashi Ethiopia, Yahweh in Ghana, it's Blue South Africa, the watch out to keep watching. Artist Zone, Swag.
Tobad was inspired by that kind of love that a man feels for a woman or a woman feels for a man because every woman at one point in time has been in love with that one person who even though they know has many flaws they still cannot bring themselves to let go not because they can't leave the person but because they just believe that this person is good for them it's just that he's greatly flawed which really let's face it as human beings we're all flawed so that's what inspired Tobad that's what inspired the song and the song Kemi Adetiba Banky W and I wanted something that people could relate to something that could evoke emotions and let people know that it came from a true place which was what we kind of did with the video just give me 10 minutes to get settled in and come right out by the way you look gorgeous though the video was shot by Kemi Adetiba she's she's a woman I like to I'm very pro woman <laughs> yeah she's a woman and it was shot in New York While home, it would be two-faced. I we actually have started working on something, but we haven't put it put like gone to the studio to record it yet. But I respect Two Face a lot because I think he's he's a true artist, and I would love, love, love to do something with him. His voice is unique, and I cannot wait to work with him. Abroad, there's a whole lot of people. I would love to work with. R. Kelly, I would love to do something definitely with Christina Aguilera and I would love to, I don't even want to start naming names because the list is endless. Definitely if I got a chance to work with Beyonce, I would be greatly, greatly honored. So, and this is because these are people that inspire me. Mariah Carey, I want to work with her because these are people that I grew up looking up to and listening to. I have I couldn't start to lay down all the plans that I have right now definitely to become that person that I really want to be because my motive as an artist is to use my talent and my gift to share what I have um, with the rest of the world sadly I've come to the part where I have to leave I really don't want to leave but Thank you for sharing my world with me, for staying in my world with me for this short time. My name is still Niola, and you can follow me on Instagram at Niola, and my Twitter handle is at I am Niola. On Facebook, you can reach me on www.facebook.com slash Niola. www.youtube.com slash Niola as well. Peace. You know what, David? Just take a minute.